Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to TFS Plays Pokemon Platinum Nuzlocke. Woo! I'm Tractani Protector. I, I'm Flat Earth Kieran. I am uh, <laughs> in the minority and say Earth is round. <laughs> <laughs> It, you know, I actually had, like, a idea for how we can, like, you know, get somebody in that Flat Earth society to prove that the Earth is flat. Okay. Oh, yeah. Because by their idea, uh -huh. the map of the Earth is that, like, United Nations map, right? Yes. Where it's kind of, yeah, like, is. goes towards the center. Yep. Okay, it's simple. Yeah. You uh, take one point of latitude mm -hmm. around, like, the, like, the north, and you mm -hmm. wrap around. Because, mm -hmm. in theory... That map that's like just kind of like that congruent circles going out, mm -hmm. each latitude would be longer and longer. Yeah. So you measure one point of latitude, and then you measure another point of latitude, and if that one is longer, the Earth's flat. Mm. Mm. Okay. Okay. Well, really, like, the only way you're ever going to convince them, though, they all follow this like one principle that's like if you don't see it or touch it, it's not real. Ah. Uh, her, I think her measurements can be wrong. Are it's we just, using raisin to fight two electric squirrels? Because we also only have a bird and a thing that doesn't hurt things and something that's <laughs> level seven. Fair. <laughs> <laughs> this is actually I, our I, most dangerous fight. <laughs> I thought that as well. We are six levels higher, and they just both use quick attack, so I'm guessing they don't know electric moves. Well, that's true. That right. said, I just, yeah, I think bubble might just be. Best it does. Here. It, it's stab. It hits both, and they don't resist it. I think. Shit. We might need a uh, yeah, Cleo. You're gonna you're gonna take Woo! a take a quick seat. <laughs> How are we using quick? Oh wait, they used quick attack. I was like, <laughs> I was like, we're getting the quick law. We still went third. Fuck in hell. Oh, yeah, Cleo's gonna need a potion here. I get punch a, a punch and Elu could I, do I fine. Guess, yeah. Would metal claw be okay? They apparently resist metal claw, which I didn't realize. They do? Yeah. I didn't realize electric huh. resisted steel. I guess it makes sense. Ha, fools, you're attacking the wrong thing with that now. Oh, they learned. Come on, doesn't Bubble like have a chance to lower speed or something? <laughs> it's just Bubbles. <laughs> we can outlast you, you dumb children. Ah, I forgot one part of my uh, flat Earth thing. Because I realized if you just measure, like, the north and measure the equator, of course the equator is going to be longer. It has to be, like, north and then that same, like, distance of latitude south of the equator. Yeah, exactly. Mm. That's that's what... That's their... That's their thing. Is that the whole... Antarctica is actually just a big ice wall that we can't get past. But... Okay. I was <laughs> Don't worry, gonna, they have an answer for all of it, and the answer usually is, it's fake. How have we gone... We haven't, that's the answer. West. Nobody's ever been to space, Grant. They, like, there's videos of them, like, looking at, like, uh, flight uh, paths, and they're like, look how nobody goes across the, the North Pole, because it can't. <laughs> well, why the <laughs> fuck would they? <laughs> yeah, let's take the longest route we can. It's a town up here. Yes. Oh yeah, Flo Floaroma. Floaroma town. I think this is where you can get shaman. <gasps> at some point. That's uh, it's, right. It's an event thing, so we're not gonna probably get uh, it. But oh. I believe this is where that event takes place when you get the shaman's gl red, glacidia flower, or whatever it is. Oh, man, poor Cleo doing her damn just to fight for her man, just not. Not Look, looking, not looking great. When two squirrels come a knocking, you uh, them their fucking fluffy tails. Fuck them, bitch. Bullet oh. seed. Somebody will be able to use that. So yeah, Crescidia flower. There it is. It's close. This place doesn't have a gym or nothing, but it does have berry time. All right, time to get a berry basket. Thanks for the cherry berry. Oh, that's right. You don't need a, you already have a berry pocket in this. Oh. 
<gasps> Gorgeous, Gorgeous specs. specs. A cape? Okay, so Pam Pam. We need a hundred berries. A hundred what type of berry? A hundred berries. Pantry, pantry berry. Surfboard? Yo! A standing mic? He can go on he can do a stand-up tour like he's always oh wanted. Oh my god! <laughs> Listen to me, my people! <laughs> my subjects! I have a funny joke. What do you get when you cross someone? What do you get when you me? cross me? <laughs> Beheaded! Yes. <laughs> In execution. Ha <laughs> ha! <laughs> <laughs> no! Freaking girl in there is just like, here, have a cherry berry. And they're all just right outside. I like to imagine that Tractor is like the royal enforcer. <laughs> like, he, he's he's the assassin or something. <laughs> gets in, gets out, finishes the job. Huh, I like here. this. We have a royal court growing. <laughs> uh, what? What's, what? Aren't we Team Galactic? Yeah. That doesn't seem all that cool. Oh, they're creeped up by bugs. And, and grass. And grass. So, uh... Okay, yeah, that's it. All right, so... Apparently our player character has no issue with those two standing there. Why would he? He just wants to be home playing his Wii. That's true. New route! Oh, boy. New berries! Woo! Chesto! Chesto presto. I don't know what chesto is it's resto, to be. It's resto chesto. That's the one that wakes you from sleep. Like, that's a peach. I get that. Oh, I mean the thing. Yeah. Okay. Is it supposed to be like a chestnut? Yeah, chestnut. Chestnut? Okay, yeah, that makes sense. Hey, our eyes have locked. We will now fight. Help, help, try there, people! My papa and I live at Valley Windworks. Then a whole bunch of people dressed like spacemen came. I wouldn't say they're dressed like spacemen. Kick me out and they're making my papa do something. They're oh. really lame astronauts if that's what they look like. Hold on. Uh, we got a new route here, kid. We got that's an another new route. This is Valley Windworks. Oh, it's, oh yeah. It's distinct from Route 205. Well, Valley Windworks, what happens to be here? I'll deal with you later, spaceman. What is it? Ooh, a shellos. When, when you, I first saw this, I thought like, ooh, Lapras, Lapras got, got a first, first form. form. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Everybody thought that, and that was not the case. Oh, I can kind of see it. It turns into, like, it does become something pretty good, though, doesn't it? It becomes Gastrodon, a water and ground type. That's pretty good. I do like water and ground combo. Oh, no, our electricity is weaker. Don't worry, we don't have a move. I do hear that ground will be pretty useful later. Wow. It's already got a decent water type move. <gasps> Alright. My, my Moving on out! <laughs> my heart stopped for a second. Hey, you know what? Raisin won't die to this thing. I almost <laughs> probably not died in real life. And metal claw. My heart! <laughs> <laughs> Miss Cleo, no! <laughs> Didn't see that one coming. <laughs> what do you get when you mix the surf? Fuck you! <laughs> good, good one, sir. Yes, thank you! <laughs> Your comedy is always top notch. <laughs> I know! Okay, this will be slow but safe. Slow but effective. Jesus, we almost had our first death on a random Shellos. Hey, you know what? If we got if we got Shellos though. It would. We'd know it already had blood on its hands. It was ready for the job. Yep. Ah, you murdered my queen. Well done. <laughs> well, it's not even his queen yet. He's still just a prince. If they were to be married, perhaps they would be. Yeah, she, she has. She has not proven herself quite yet. I mean, she doesn't oh, have shit. anything like really strong. She doesn't even have a good electric move yet. Yeah. Okay, I guess one a pretty more good metal move claw. Set. It's, it's not bad. We're running low on Pokeballs. Well, we have a we have a couple of great balls, don't we? We have one. Oh well. And a dusk ball, I think. This this one should catch. It's it's low. It's as low as I think it's getting. <laughs> Let's do it. And I think it belongs in the party. I I think it proved its worth. Hey. There you go. 
All right, tell me about Shellos. Shellos. Shell O S. Beware. Beware. <laughs> Pushing strongly on a squishy body as it makes a mysterious purple fluid ooze out. Ah. Uh. Also, My I like this origins. I like that this thing that scared us just opens with beware. <laughs> oh, okay, thanks, Pokedex. The warning came a little late. Yeah, the royal guard. All right. It, it, it secretes a purple poison, mm -hmm. or, well, purple goo. Uh, it will eventually become like a mud water slug mm -hmm. thing, even though it kind of already is. One with like a shell. It secretes a purple poisonous ooze. What about like... I don't know, for some reason platypus is the only thing that's coming ahead, so like plats? Like P-L-A-T-Z? Gax sure. plats. Yeah, Gax. 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 Gax? G-A-K-S, I don't like X. Yeah. Here's what I'm thinking. Gax? Or... I like the K. I think the C is yeah, a little... The C, okay. C is a little pretentious. It's a little pompous <laughs> for me. Yeah. I'll accept that. Gax. Good old Gax. I accept. All right, he's in the box. We got to fix that. Yeah, let's... uh. We need to ship somebody out for Gax. Punch and Elu's like, okay... Um, I think he's just good all around. Yeah, like he's just fine. a safe choice. Um, Narcoma does need to get up there, but I don't know. But like, like, I I think I kind of agree where it's just like let's get let's get to a place where where we can level up Narcoma yeah, fast, really yeah. quick. Because okay. right now he's dead weight. Yeah, yeah. the yeah. deadest weight. I can accept that. In a regular ass run, it'd be fine, but with Nuzlocke on the line. Now, granted, like Plat uh, Gats is not going to be doing very good in a uh, in the upcoming grass in the gym. upcoming gym. We're actually uh, our little Pico would actually probably be doing a better job in the upcoming gym. It's true. What does Pico know? And Pico is only one level away from evolving. That's true. Yeah, I forgot they evolve like super fast. Really, oh. actually, its level might kind of be bad now that I think about it, because it still needs to spend a level to evolve into like its cocoon state, mm -hmm. and I don't know if it will learn moves on evolving Bye. or at level ten. Let me let me look really quick. Let's take a look at the decks. Uh, where are you at? He's third gen, right? Yes. Yeah, I gotta go. Go look at all this. If we were to put Pico in, it would have to be against like Dejer or Gax, or uh, Cleo might have to sit out around because um, the grass is bad against her. Mm -hmm. Okay, he learns Bug Bite at fifteen, and he doesn't learn he doesn't learn anything in Silcoon or Cascoon. So he learns Bug Bite at fifteen, and then what or, about for Beautifly? And Beautifly Dust learns at Absorb 10. at ten, and Dustox learns Confusion. At ten? Yeah, at ten. So I don't Shoot. know if we'll get so, that. So yeah, so we probably won't yeah, get, we won't get that. Yeah, we won't get that. Because it won't evolve until level eleven. Is that how it works, or do we get a chance to get it? I don't think so. I can't remember. Like it doesn't evolve twice in yeah, one. Yeah, it can't evolve twice in one level. Because they say, because here's the thing, they say like base. It says level base. And level ten also like confusion is based. What, what, oh, what okay, else? okay. So, so like on evolve, I think it. Okay, then yeah, then yeah. If, if there's if there's also confusion at just like line, then that means it will automatically try to learn it at, at evolution. Okay, that's good. So we'd get um we get bug bite, which is pretty good. It's got sixty power. At fifteen. Yeah, at fifteen. But then we'd have to keep it as a little worm pull for a lot of time. Well, the the doesn't, the doesn't gym that, dudes are level twenty. Doesn't it make up for it when you get that uh, level though? I mean, yeah. Like, the stats change whenever you evolve, don't they? Uh, yes. Mm -hmm. Um, for Beautifly and Dust Talks, do they learn anything at, like, uh, 11 Beautifly, through, four, through 14? Beautifly gets Gust at 13. Dust Talks get, all, yeah, they both get Gust at 13. And then Beautifly gets Stun Spore, and Dust Talks gets Protect at 17. So, we'd be missing out on Gust, which isn't, like, terrible. Whoops. Yeah, we'd be, missing, we'd be missing Gus, but I think Bug Bite would a stab. I would be fine be swapping out Dodge Air for Pico, just personally. For a bit. Personally, yeah, yeah, I'm okay with that. I don't think we need any like super 
HM moves right now. Get in the box there, Doofy. At most, we'll need Rock Smash and Hey, Punch and Elo can also learn that. So did we rest here? Yes, we did. Yeah. Uh, All right. Does so. this place have just a regular ass store? Can I buy Pokeballs here? I think it was just. Uh, I wanna, might want to grind some of the lower level dudes for a yeah. little bit. Just get them caught up. Leads to the right. Okay. There yeah. we go. So we seem to be fighting like level Everyone 11s else. and 12s and stuff. And I yeah. don't. And I, I'm guessing Ooh. that Team Galactic probably has some slightly stronger things. Actually, no. We need to buy it in t orders of 10. To get the free premiere ball. Oh yeah, that's right. Yeah. Uh, do we want more potions? How many do we have? Five. Yes. Yeah, there's a few more. Does anybody have fifty right now? I don't think anybody has fifty HP. No. Raisin might. Yeah, he has yeah, he has fifty-one. So if he goes down to one hit point, <laughs> yeah. all of a sudden that super <laughs> potion makes sense. Well, really, anything anything past 30 or 20. You're um, starting to get your money's worth, I guess. Yeah. Okay. All right, so where's a good place to grind? Is it out here, or would it be back there? Probably this grass, I would assume. In this area? Although, then again, that shellless was scary. And yeah. Be what we'd be throwing it against it, so. We'll try over here for a bit. Well, now we have a Gax of our own. That's true. Uh, Pico, yeah. I'm guessing. Yeah, is, I'm, I'm thinking like because Pico is actually going to be useful in that gym along with Tractor. So do we want to hold it off and keep it from evolving until 15? I, I would say because Bug Bite, that's 60 damage. It's going to be stabbed. That's probably the best. That's the most damaging move it'll learn. All right, so we'll throw in Tractor, eat that thing real quick, stop it from evolving. If it, get, it wouldn't get a level from this. No. Yeah, this is great. We're we're simultaneously grinding. Yeah, and Pico will also yeah, Pico be getting something for Grunding. Yeah, grunding. Them gruns. Okay, when you're referring to it in the past tense uh, for grind. I ground. You, you ground in an RPG? I yeah. ground for a while. I grunded. Okay. Who's your favorite grundum? <laughs> <laughs> Zaku is my favorite grundum. Because they're all Gundams, right? Yeah, every single one. A giant. Hey, it's a big robot. It's my a Gundam. Favorite, my favorite is Code Geass. <laughs> Kieran, you love you love robots. Look, it's a Gundam. It's like a Gundam. Well, I guess that means it's a good time for hashtag TFS grinds. Mm. And here's a fun one: if you could have any superpower or special ability with no crime fighting capacity, what oh. would it be? Okay, so, so, I, it, so I can't. What is, what is that? Fight, so I, I, yeah, does so that mean I have like, the power you, can't be involved in fighting crime? Yeah, like it's not useful for fighting crime, which is odd because I feel like almost anything could be. Okay, oh, yeah, then that, I can. All right, here's my superpower. I can steal money by thinking it. I'm now causing <laughs> crime. There we go. There you go. <laughs> that, is, that is anti preventing crime. I by can now siphon it. money with my brain. Yeah, that, in fact, there is no good way of doing that. <laughs> My favorite, uh, like, basic ass, like, power that I frequently wish I have, is, or wish I could have, is the ability to know exactly where an object I have, like, been in contact with is. Because, like, whenever I lose something, and it's oh, just, man. I know it's in this apartment somewhere, if I could just, like, see from its perspective, or just see it. That'd be cool. Like, just have it light up. Mm -hmm. Just something. I wish I had the ability to create a extra dimensional space that I could enter. Basically, like, have a home anywhere I go. All right. Yeah, a little pocket dimension. That'd yeah, be cool. a little pocket dimension with a, a house of my design on the inside. Oh, that'd be rad. Like, I keep all my shit in there. I can just travel. Oh, man. That's neat. I was infatuated with that shit as a kid. Like, having, like, little, just a tiny little place I could have all my shit. This thing's hurting us more than I want. So, you know what? Fine. Yeah, Cleo Crazy. is, like, paper at the moment. Yeah. She needs to evolve or at least get a fucking electric move. Love Cleo's design. Not crazy about how she's shaping up. Ah, here's another fun one. Uh, another, another like, superpower-esque kind of thing. But mm -hmm. if you could enhance one of your five senses to a superhuman level with no drawbacks, which would you choose and why? Uh, who said it, by the way? This is by uh, Connor Dougal. Who was, who was the last one? Oh, sorry. The last one was Spike JRB. Thank you, dudes. 
Uh, enhance a sense, any sense to superhuman level? Yes. Okay. Now, I'm guessing this means like you can finally hone it. Like, yeah. if you have super hearing, you can't just. You won't just be like, ah! Yeah, yeah, no, yeah. It's, not, it's not like Daredevil where you have to sleep in a <laughs> fucking sensory deprivation <laughs> chamber. Yeah. I imagine amplifying my sense of touch would be miserable because then clothes would be the most irritating thing. Oh. There's that in every pain you feel. Would, yeah, it would you would be feel amplified. so much more. That'd be terrible. I'd go, uh, like. Sight feels like the easy one. Like, that's like, seems like the obvious choice to me, but. I don't know. Like, it'd be real fun to be able to just see you super far away. Taste would be a very interesting one because, mm. like, I, I'm a foodie, and I almost kind of wonder if that would actually ruin a lot of food. I was going to say. Because I, mean, I, I couldn't eat fast food then, like, yeah. ever again, probably. Uh, yeah. Like, I already have a problem where I, if I'm eating fast food, I'm like, eh, I could be doing this, though. God, that's tough because it's like. If you inhale, like, sight is the only one that makes, like, a lot of sense to me. Yeah. Because, you know, I'd love to be able to read a book that's open down the hall. <laughs> yeah, I feel like sight has the fewest downsides. Like, the only thing I can see being a problem with sight is, like, ah, it's really bright out. <laughs> like, which would be frustrating. Whatever, I gotta wear sunglasses I, whatever, all the time sunglasses. and look awesome. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think sight. Sight's the only one that really makes sense because hearing, like, it, shit gets too loud. You can't sleep. I know. And I love, like, I can hear my to loud own heartbeat shit. while I'm sleeping. No, 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 no. I do Smell not Smell would be kind of rough anytime you go by anything relatively stinky. Yeah, and I already also have. Also, the a... earth would become super stinky, probably. Yeah, I already have a, a pretty good sense of smell. I so. feel like there's more repugnant and bad things in every other sense except sight. for sight. I yeah. feel like sight has very few bad things. Yeah. Sight, sight is you'd get a really really detailed look at that piece of dog shit you stepped in and that's about as bad <laughs> yeah. as it probably gets but then oh well i can close my eyes i can't close my ears <laughs> uh, you know what yeah eyes are the only sense that are an opt-in <laughs> one so <laughs> yeah i'm gonna go with that that's my final answer thank you regis all right uh from hold on, let me get this name it kind of got cut up from at mr fizz uh, what scientific discovery would you want to make? Like if you like if you were you know, what what? Oh, scientific yeah. discovery! I want to make proof that aliens exist. Yeah, I was gonna say like it's something like that. Um, That's what I that was I personally would love to do. I would love to discover that weed is a cure all for all diseases. <laughs> That'd be great. <laughs> and I'm the I'm everything. test subject I number one. I figured it out. <laughs> I got it. <laughs> Just bust into this science lab. Hi! <laughs> this is stoner-ass dude, but with a lab coat. Have you, <laughs> Go. Thought, have you thought about it, though? What if? Hey, Mr. Nobel, just give me that prize, because I, I got the panacea right here. The cancer's too busy to grow if it's too busy eating Funyuns, man. <laughs> Shit! Oh, man. Scientific discovery that I would want to make. Uh... I, I would want some like just some form of time travel like oh that's dangerous I know that's dangerous Grant. I want I want to I want to open that Pandora's box though <laughs> no you don't you want to keep it closed Grant you don't know what you're saying for me whenever I imagine like ideal time travel uh, I frequently go like I would want to be able to time travel but like I time travel into like myself in that time period. So I can't go the mental out. one. So right? yes, yeah. like a mental time travel. I can't go outside my own lifetime. Okay. I can see that. Grinding over there is taking forever. So yeah. I'm going to have to go a little bit back in time now because uh, people like we, uh, people realize we just started the, like the first episode dropped today. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So they don't realize, oh yeah, TFS grinds still a thing. So I have to go back in time to find some now. Back in time. Gotta go back in time. You finally saw Back to the Future, right, Karen? Yes, I okay. did. I still have to see the second one, but I did see the first one. It was really good. Also, I'm gonna point this out uh, just just for the sake of it, because I've, I've mm -hmm. scrolled through and there are like seven different questions like this. Okay. Would you ever consider playing blank? Not a TFS grinds question. <laughs> And the so, answer, no. Well, that's the thing, is like, <laughs> questions with a very simple yes, no, really don't work for, you know, please inspire conversation with your questions. 
That said, question with a simple yes, no, but please defend your point. Yeah. Uh, dumb, dumb argument uh, that I heard the other day. Are fish wet when they're underwater? Yes. No, nothing's wet. What? Nothing's wet. And everything's wet. No. No, because water doesn't contact anything. Water doesn't get in anything. Water surrounds everything. <laughs> yeah, but it doesn't actually touch anything. Oh. Yes, it does. No, it doesn't. They swim through it. They have to be in contact with it. No. Nope. Uh, oh, we could have got a weasel. We could have got a fucking weasel. Got a weasel. Who would not be touched by water. Uh, but, <laughs> but like, because yeah, the, the logic there is the concept of wet can only be a thing if it is in a dry place. Because is water wet then, therefore? Oh, no, that, I think that's a weird way to approach yeah, it. I'm, I'm going the molecular level that nothing actually, actually touches. Actually gets wet? Nothing actually gets wet. You just have water on something that can come off. Water can always come off of everything. So you're saying that nothing is ever wet? Nothing is ever wet. <laughs> <laughs> okay, thank you, Kieran. That's right. Sure, your at least we clarified that. <laughs> <laughs> ever. Nope, never. <laughs> Oh, uh, yes. Yeah. Send in uh, on Twitter. Just use hashtag TFS Grinds for your TFS Grinds questions. And we will see you oh, guys. Oh, no. Oh, stop him. Somebody stop. stop him. Oh, yeah, that's right. We're stopping him. I was like, let's watch this first. But first, no. Huh? Stop <laughs> it, Pico. You're a baby forever. We'll see you guys next time on TFS Plays Pokemon Platinum Nuzlocke.